Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bengals Genius Show. Bengal Genius with you, discussing week three Monday Night Football with the, I almost said St. Louis Rams, the LA Rams. And we all know the main concern, of course, is Joe Burrow's calf. Uh, it sucks to be in this situation. Okay, the season's on the line. Clearly, they should have rested him and made sure it was 100%. Hindsight's 2020, though. I get it. They, honestly, I haven't seen this around a player too much where it was a a, gro um, a calf issue, a strained calf. My concern is, is this going to mushroom into something else, something bigger? The only solution I can see realistically is resting him until the bye week or until he's 100% because everyone on the team knows. You can hear from Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. They know. You know, Joe's going to try to play because he's a dog. And it's going to – but if he can't throw deep and if he can't run, it really limits his game. You know, he, he had a great game last week, though, dinking and dunking and getting rid of the ball very quick. And the line has been, it's the best line Joe Burrow's played with. So that's good. I say rest him. And I could tell from what Zach Taylor said that they have made the decision that they are going to rest him. That's my opinion. We'll see. Now it's going to be the Jake Browning era. Now, I know that sounds rough, but I think it's about time that the defense carries the load. They have been, they are veterans enough on defense. There's enough elderly guys there that they need to step up. Lou Anarumo is a, is a premier defensive coordinator. And they're just going to have to hold it down. And Joe Mixon's going to have to get fed the ball. Remember that fresh Ryan Finley win over the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday night? Back in 2019, that really kicked off the Zach Taylor era because I was ready to send Zach out of here. And then they pulled that off, and I I was shocked when they won that game. They were huge underdogs, Monday night football, and they pulled it off. I always remember that run the scramble Finley had. He was smiling there. Oh, I love that. But that really changed the whole perspective of the team. And it didn't make sense before that because it was like, everyone's like, fire Taylor, fire Taylor. But the players really seem to love him. The, the players love Zach Taylor. I love Zach Taylor. Now, he, you know, he proved me wrong. So he's going to have to pull that off again. They're going to have to rally around him. And this happens. Great teams have to do this from time to time. They have to rally around Joe Mixon, the offensive line, just let... You know, Browning, it, here's the plan. It's simple. It's so easy. Defense played great. Pound, 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 pound with Mixon. Browning throw a bomb to Chase or Higgins. Browning, the winningest quarterback in Pac-12 history. He's got that going for him. So what other options do we have? My fear is he, Joe keeps running on this bad leg. And then something really bad happens, like an Achilles. Now, someone brought to my attention today that this same situation happened with Aaron Rodgers. He was dealing with a strained calf, and then, beady bam, he popped his Achilles. And we don't want to see that. Ugh, man, I can't believe this situation we're in, though. <clears throat> Best offensive line and Bengals have had in years, and everything was lining up perfectly in a, in a strained calf. But, hey! These things happen in the NFL, it's next man up. You know, one little segment I want to start doing is, because I talk a lot of trash, goes with the goes with the business, is a little praise around the AFC North. Um, so, now's a good time. My heart goes out to Nick Chubb. That was a horrible injury. It was horrible. And he's been an absolute Bengal killer, but the guy is a stud and was a workhorse and I feel bad for him and it's unfortunate and I hope he can make an amazing comeback. TJ Watt, I am shocked that you are the all-time Steelers sack leader 
at 28 years old or 29. That's incredible. So TJ Watt is a truly incredible player. And I got to give props. I got to give props to Lamar Jackson. I've been down on that guy as a passer forever. And he had a huge game next uh, last week against us. Huge game. The guy was throwing dimes. And then I got to give credit where credit's due. So all three of you teams can suck it. Your fan bases can suck it. But I got to give credit. So there you go. You got your credit. So Monday night's coming fast. They got this guy, Puka Hawuna, who catches everything. I never heard of the guy before, so it'll be interesting to watch him. Man, I wanted revenge on these guys. It is a Bengal whiteout. We're inducting players. And you never know, Joe might play. Joe might play. I'm not kidding. And I know this sounds dumb, but you guys can research it yourself. I suggested leeches. Put leeches on the calf. The leech, its saliva makes it easier to extract the blood, which helps blood flow to the area, which promotes health, which promotes healing. Why not try it? What what else you got to lose? Come on, Joe, give it a shot. Google it. It's a true thing. What do you want me to say? All right. I'll put a leech on if he'll do it. Can't hurt. That's all I'm saying. So... It's going to be a tough Monday night. Hopefully, we can just rally around Browning and we put a plan together and they overlook us. But I can't wait to induct these guys into the Ring of Honor. Ocho, Boomer. You guys deserve it. I'm proud of you. Who day, who day, all around. Around the NFL a little bit. The Niners look like the team to beat, in my opinion, right now. Not having to pay. Brock Purdy is a huge perk, and that team is just loaded. But it is a marathon, so we will see what happens as the season goes along. But, man, they look tough. Look real tough. Watched them last night. Christian McCaffrey's healthy. Uh, It's going to be a handful there. In the AFC, it's funny to watch Buffalo dip. They're dipping down. The Chargers, they got to fire that head coach. That guy is a straight-up numbskull. He sucks. Horrible coach. Makes dumb decisions all the time. He's a bum. Dolphins are looking good, but the question is, Tua, can he last? It's hard to say. Hard to say if Tua's going to make it. But as of right now, they're putting up some big numbers. They're flying around. The AFC is wide open. That's what I mean. So if we can rest Joe, bring him back in, and make a little run in the playoffs. Hey, no one wants to play the Bengals in the playoffs. I'll tell you that right now. Of course, KC's hanging around. Travis Kelsey's dating Taylor Swift. Come on. Come on. How many distractions can a team have? They seem like their heads are so blown up. But they did beat Jacksonville. Jacksonville, I thought, was going to actually win that game. But they failed miserably. So the AFC is wide, wide open. So it's going to get good. It's already good. It's already good. So let's just see what happens from here on out. So we need a miracle, Brownie. Or we need a miracle from Joe, his leg. But if you're not healthy, Joe, you got to sit. You got to look big picture here. So. All right, let's get ready for Monday night. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to watch. Be sure to tell a friend. Who did? Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel. The Bengals Genius Show.